Hey guys, I am back. <laughs> um, today I want to use my um, flower shaped tray again and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do actually if I will make a sort of bowl with this after a while. Um, let me just see and yeah this is my Drusy and Leia also the flower shape and again I need to say thanks a lot to Mold and Shapes. They really sent me a package of in layers to test them and to have a look and I really like them. So I just place it in there. It's not quite the center. Let me go a little bit aside so is this all right? Well, this will do. <clears throat> anyway, um, I already poured some resin in some cups because I want to go with the feathery technique again and to see how <clears throat> how I'm going. So, um, but before I start mixing my colors. I want to see for my center to use a tiny bit of the sparkly sapphire. It's yeah, really not much, just a hint. And my cup there is um, a third with resin, so I really don't want it to be opaque, opaque when I pour this in my center just to have a, a shimmery hint. Yeah, maybe a tiny easy bit more. Yeah, with mixing it's always <laughs> you need to see. So I, I go like this. I hope you can see uh, a tiny bit more. Not too much, and then put this aside. I only just mixed my resin, so it's not even sitting for 10 minutes. And yeah, let me just pour this into my mold. It's always difficult with this big one, but I don't want to waste another paper cup for this. I want to pour this um, to almost at the top. And I'm really, really hoping that this will work. I want to go in a bluish purple color actually yeah my resin can um, bleed already into the juicy mold I don't mind so let's have a look yeah it still can have some more So much fun to use those um, druzy diamond or crystal eyes, uh, not crystal eyes. Um, I have it with my crystals, crushed eyes in layers. So now it's almost at the top. Um, it has maybe one um, one centimeter, uh, one millimeter, two millimeters. So I guess this will be fine. So I still have space for um, my dots. Yeah, and just let me put this into the center. So it can bleed 
into the clear. I guess I need a little bit more clear here at that side. Let me just put this there. So my trousy is also covered. And use my stick just to go a little bit around and to follow a little bit this pattern. I need to get my heat gun and to pop some air bubbles before I finally start doing my pour. So I'm just popping bubbles at the moment. See that I can push this here a little bit. Let me get this um, bubble out. It's trapped in the corner. So. I'm not too worried about how, how it's looking there at the moment. This will change, I'm sure it will. Um, yeah, so I need to get my alcohol. It's the isoprofil, profile, pro, you know, <laughs> profanal <laughs> alcohol. I can never say this. I guess some people laugh with me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and take a stick and put some of the quicksilver from just paint into my little cup. And I, um, for this amount, this is almost half full, this little cup. To be safe and sorry, I go with 30 drops. So I'm sure that this will stay on top for hopefully a nice silver background. So let me just mix this. Two, three, four. Thirty. 
yeah, this quicksilver, this is really sticking on top. But I have my little, little, I don't know if you see it, my little um, Haribo bear. <laughs> and I just see what it's doing. Just pop this in there. So I have my other two cups. And um, I'm gonna go, let me think. With, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a third, um, another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is my, and here I'm gonna go with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I do the opposite now. I go with 16 drops of here, of the blue lilac. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Now maybe only f another four, three, because there's this color is a lot more opaque than the blue. So. Um, and here I'm gonna go also with one, two, three, four. So and now I'm gonna look first how the shades are looking because I want a sort of bluish purplish um, shades for both. Look at this, it's pretty. Yeah, I like it. This is awesome. And see what shade I get here. I hope it's lighter. Yes, it is. Yeah, awesome. So, they're slightly different. And this is what I want. I don't want two extreme different shades. I just want just a tone lighter. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, the silver is behaving very good. I'm gonna go with... Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are thirty drops in here. You will see what it's doing. Anyway, um, as many people of you know, this um, technique was discovered by Luna Design. And I wonder, you know, 
if at some point um, you know we get to know her to see who this is who's behind there uh, just have a look how this is gonna be and here I have um, the less opaque um, and I see this I go also with 30 drops two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give this a good stir. So in both cups are 30 drops. However, I think the lighter can have a little bit more of alcohol. But we will see. Because I think it's really dropping. It's not... Um, so I go... With five more, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Just to be safe and sorry. I think the darker one is behaving. I cannot see it dropping. So let me just um, start. I want to take maybe a bigger stick like this one and just go around because it's a bigger mold and I don't want the drops to be too little. Um, I do this um, with my first um, petal here. And then I'm going to stop the video because I think, you know, you don't need to see me dropping all those dots. Might be boring for you. I adore this quicksilver. I really do. Do the same on the other side. While I'm doing this, I'm sitting because I really get back pain from standing so long when you drop the um, drops. And this is not always very, very pleasant for me. So I prefer to sit down. So. Um, do I have another stick like this? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm just going with the flow now with my um, purple colors. I just drop them as I feel. Like I said, they can be bigger. That's why I'm taking this bigger um, stick. And I'm really hoping for some nice results. This is so much fun to do. So I think this Luna design for making many, many people do these and trying to achieve something very pretty. Um, we'll have another one of those sticks. Um, let me just get one. So 
so far the drops are behaving very very good the dots i mean not the drops this and um, what I'm gonna do I put some of the silver in between because I want um, the edge to be silver Okay, um, I'm going to stop this video now. I'm layering my colors and I will be back once I'm done. Okay, see you then. Ooh, where can I stop? I need to go to the other side. <laughs> ah, well, see you then. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So I lay up my colors as you can see. And... It's all quite good covering up. I also added a little bit at the end of um, each petal some of the quicksilver. So I'm really curious also <laughs> with my druzy insert how this is going to be looking. I really hope for some nice effects. Um, it's now 10 to 1 over here so I guess around about in one hour, maybe a little bit less because it took quite a while to um, do all the dots. Um, I will um, do my swirls, but what do you think? And I think these colors, these shades are awesome. So yeah also along the edges because the silver was floating also on top of um yeah the very center i just made a few swirls with a stick but um now i'm gonna just leave it and i will see what will happen fingers crossed i'm really hoping for a beautiful effect and I will see because um, this resin needs 24 hours to cure and um, I'm not really sure when I can take it out of the mold to, to put into a, uh, yeah, a big spaghetti plate or, or something like this. I will see, maybe I'll leave it like this, maybe not. I will see how it's going to be looking in the evening. But first I'll be back in, yeah, around about, let's say, 45 minutes or something for the swirl. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So, it's swirl time. Um, let me just get a baby wipe. They are now coming three. I only need one. Um, yeah. Um, actually, um, as you can see, my center is almost closed. Well, um, I don't really know how to swirl. I guess I do a little bit of a swirl in my center. Like so. get the stick up and um, I'm gonna emphasize the flower so you have the petals I'm trying not to touch my mold from inside to avoid any scratches. So I gently do this. 
Um, how do I do this now with this one? And like so. <laughs> you really have to think um, doing this. So, and now I'm gonna start inside my flower. I guess I only briefly go around. Not more. Just from the center outside one more round and stick out this can flop in and also from the outside uh, from the inside outside and one time around from the inside outside one time around and the last one just a gentle swirl so um i guess there will be coming air bubbles up so I need to keep on torching this for a while. I'm not sure if I, yeah, I just take you down for a close up so you see, and you can also very, very, very good see how um, the silver is actually floating on top. And I think this is awesome. This is really awesome. Look at that. It even looks brilliant from this side. I love how the silver is. I just adore it. So, yeah, I'm really hoping for a good result. And to be honest, I'm expecting um, a similar um, floating micas in gold and also copper. And I'm looking forward, yeah, to do more of these and, and with these backgrounds. This will be fantastic. But now um, have a look, have a closer look. I think it looks awesome. It has a pattern on its own, even on that side. So I wonder how it's gonna look on the other side. Okay, love and leave you and see you tomorrow for the big unmolding. Or this evening, depending, for putting this into a, a, a spaghetti plater. Because I don't want to have a proper bowl, I want it to be more flat. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So um, this is now sitting for... 12 hours <laughs> so it's quite late at night or in the evening and i want to see that i get this into this bowl i think i can take it out it's also still quite um, bendy so i hope this is the right moment it's the first time I'm actually doing this, so I hope this will be fine. I'm very, very excited about it, actually. So let me just put this in my hand and can already see it turned out very, very nice. Look at this and I hope because I don't want yeah it works <laughs> it works this is in the center yeah it's looking good there's a little bit of an overflow in my um, 
how do you say my in layer but let me press this in good first and let me bend this a little bit aside like so and let me get my in layer out Just get this off, this little bit of overflow, and yeah, it's always tricky to get the start, and now especially that the in layer, yeah, I've got it, is in here. Wow, I can see it. I can really see it. This is beautiful. Yeah, like this. Look at that, guys. Wow. Really happy with this. Um, let me let me take you down. Um, for a close up. So you can see how it's actually looking. I'm very, very amazed, really. It's the first time I've done something like this. So. Look at that. And look at the feathery effect. The silver in the background. And look at the crystal. Oh, sorry that I'm a little bit hectic with um, filming with my camera because I don't know where to look myself. I really like it. It's maybe not the um, big feathering, but. I really adore it. Wow. This is beautiful. For my taste. Okay. I love and leave you and we see each other tomorrow morning. When this is completely, um, yeah, not bendy anymore. Okay. See you then. Bye. Good morning everyone, I'm getting my, oops, my um, bowl out of my bowl, <laughs> my little spaghetti plate, um, yeah, I must admit I already loosened it a little bit because it was of course a little bit stuck, so I, but I didn't have a look. I only loosened it um, here at the side so I can really take it out and my plate is also still all right and yeah let's have a look at the baby it's really my first proper plate I've made and I'm really happy so far wow let's have a look at the back side it's quite silver <laughs> but I needed the silver for my background and yeah I like it's very flat and it's a nice decoration piece I think yeah let me take you down for a close-up so you can have a look I will leave the edges clear because I really like this yeah sometimes um, really we see um, painted edges i think sometimes it's a little bit too much so yeah let me just show you and you can see through and you see see there you see the 3d effect and there's a center 
and nice crystal effect and you see those very feathery leaves I'm really happy about it. Also, the colors are very, very beautiful, I think. It's a, yeah, bluish purple. I think um, the mix of the two colors was really good. Okie dokie. I take another nice picture. Oh, let me show you also the back. Hang on. The back is like this. <laughs> Looks funny, I think. And the center here. Um, yeah. Hang on. There you see the crystal effect. It's very delicate, I think. So, okie dokie. Um, like I said, I pop some pictures afterwards and see you hopefully for my next video. Take care and have a good Sunday. Bye bye.